Uh, but here on Wednesday's show, we kind of get into our wandering Wednesday. And first up to the plate, our buddy, hitting in the four hole, playing first base, Zachary David Masoner. Yeah. Uh, so today I was thinking about cigarettes. Mm. Okay. The cigarette bandit back? No. Well, well, I mean, yeah, he's an habitual offender that we still have yet to really nail it down. I mean, I know who it is, but like, it's just, there's nothing going to be done about it because there's no really hard. I think it's an inside job. Yeah. Well, above the law. No. Untouchable. He thinks he is, but I I bet with the new chief of Huntingburg police department, we could maybe, (laughs) maybe we could get him to crack down. He's a fan of the show. Yeah. We set up a sting operation. We could. Could you imagine us three in a stakeout in That'd a van? Be a long stakeout. Because he's it, sitting pretty low. It's usually between like a month or two in between, like dumpings. You know what I mean? So like we'd have to really be. Can't staying. imagine going a month or two without a dump. Yeah, It'd be tough. <laughs> I bet we could set up a traffic cam facing southbound on Chestnut. We catch the bastard. <laughs> I couldn't imagine going on more than a couple hours without a dump. I think we'd need to set up the sting to be more like what they do with the. You know how them folks catch them petter asses in the act? Yes. Oh, yeah. And then they're uh, like, what oh, the hell hey. was it? The one I watched, uh, um, gosh dang it, Pittsburgh Ped Patrol or some shit. Oh, the the yeah. dudes are like, I mean, they're, but they're they're hook lining them too, though, you know. Poor guy. I mean, well, that's what we'll do. We'll, we'll give out free, free cigarettes. Piss on them bastards. Yeah. Free yeah, cigarettes. Free cigarettes <laughs> and then we'll follow them around and find no, that. So pork here's the sucker. thing. So I, I was thinking about cigarettes because of how not mainstream. They, I was thinking about this the other day. They, People they, just don't smoke anymore. They are anymore. What's it like when you're two mentro cycles? I mean, it's a. I've it's always a, got somebody it's, to it's text. A f- bloody mess i tell you that <laughs> yeah uh but so did like, you ever smoke were you a smoker yeah hell oh, yeah god i was a heavy smoker uh, for a long i mean i'm a heavy smoker now but differently <laughs> ah get it because he's david <laughs> allen smoker I love it and he's fat i love it oh how many packs a day did you go through? oh no i was never like a full-blown smoker oh the, like, the warden did didn't she or was she always the vapor no 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 she smoked yeah she smoked um Hey, I didn't mean to call you fat. Like, no, I that's fine. That was no. hard. It was yeah. hard. That was a hard F. That's okay. Yeah, hard. It's fine. It's uh, fine. So what brought this up was the um, the pro golfer, the LB. The L- oh, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Charlie? Yes, Charlie Hall. Uh, she's at an LPGA event. At LPGA the, championship She's right at the now. U.S. Women's Open, right? Yeah, U.S. Ripping Women's cigs and Open. drinking and Diet Coke. Is, Signing autographs. There, there's a video. I, I'm not going to play the video, oh, but okay. like, there's a video of her signing autographs and she has got a, a cigarette hanging out of her mouth. Now are we talking like a Marlboro or Virginia Slim well, or something. Uh, it may be a Virginia Slim because yeah, like that baby had an ash on she her. Is, oh. She's smoking. She's a younger gal. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And she's ripping cigs. Oh hell yeah she is not even using her hands. No. So she's taking uh she's taking full rips off this cigarette while signing these autographs. And I bet I, she's I got a gnarly thought, smoker's cough. And I just thought... Get like, over here, darling. I'll sign, yeah, I'll sign, your, I'll sign your glove. But they don't... <laughs> like, that's what I'm saying. Like, they don't... Uh, they don't do that anymore. Like, people don't do that anymore. Uh, like, you Out just... Of, I don't think You just don't see mainstream cigarette smokers anymore. Well, and they don't... And, and you can tell by the accessories you can't find. Because yeah. if you was a woman smoker back when I was in my early teens to teens... Yes, if your mom was a smoker, she had at least two of those little leather pouches you with a little it. twist top, like yep. pops it open, little yep. zipper on the front, got the lighter. Then you always had like the metal thing, the Bic lighter stuck in, yep. unless you were a Zippo person. Yep. Uh, you know, and then, oh, God. That's what I'm saying. So, so America was better when everybody was slowly killing themselves, you know, <laughs> of their own free oh, accord geez. instead of getting, you know. So that you know, brought me to another thing, like with this whole uh uh, who I about said the R word, uh, vapist mo- uh, movement. Uh, I just is the vapist movement pro or anti? Well, no, I just think they're anti cigarettes oh. because of the like this. I mean, I will. I you're will, just saying in general the use of douche flutes. I will agree though. Like if <laughs> if you're vaping, you know what I mean. Like, uh, <laughs> could you do that again? Yeah, look straight <laughs> to the camera. 
Because we're going to cut that. <laughs> yeah. They uh, they don't, um, like, you don't stink. You know what I mean? And it's not. I well, now, when you come that. around a corner and get a whiff full of fruit loops like out of somebody's of, yeah. lung butter, like, nothing makes me want to gag more. Yeah. Like, there used to be some fellas down at the Little League field, and they'd be blowing them clouds out like they was oh, an old exactly. daggone Mazda running around. When they got those, when those guys. Like fruity pebbles. It's like, Christ Almighty, get it back in your lungs, you sick <laughs> Well, so that's is. the thing, though. Like, Some of yeah. those ones, like, okay, so, like, my wife has one. My wife. <laughs> Very nice. She uh, she does. She's uh, a fancy, though. Yeah, she's a Yeah, vapor. she's not, like, cloud puffing. No, she's not. She's uh, a jewel girl. She's now, no, she's moved on. To, now she's on to these uh, uh, other. Uh, they come from the from the Blush Brothers down there. Well, uh, oh, oh, Gary. Uh, <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's called a juicy bar. Or something. Yeah, I was going to say a juice uh, flute. Or like a Mr. Fog or one of these units. But anyway, yeah. uh, she's not ripping fat clouds, as they call them. Yeah. You know she I mean? doesn't have a rig that you got to no. plug in every that night. That looks like a pack of, of cigarettes itself, yeah. just yeah. the battery. Somebody gets their, gets their phone. It almost looks like the phone, phone out. And what it, kind of rig you got? It's well, got a, I got this uh, double turbo here. And it's got a spout on it as big as this beer can, and they're like... Oh, I was teaching out there at the local establishment. There was this kid that walked in every day with like a stainless steel like Pelican case. Yeah. And he had his like douche... It was his douche flutery. You know, he'd pop it open oh and have six batteries, gosh. tips and glass pieces and bottles, all sorts of shit he was mixing up in there. Looked like... Looked God, like man. a Native American peace pipe. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, tonight at the ball field... Mm-hmm. <clears throat> there was a, a gentleman, an older man, and he was smoking a cigarette, but he was like 45, 50 yards from everybody. You got a whiff of it, didn't you? Yeah. And I was like, and it it, it just triggered, like, I just, I get so- Remembered Christmas morning. I get so many memories, not necessarily Christmas morning, but I just get a lot of memories <laughs> of- uh, of a, of a just a big old nose full of cigarette smoke, you know, like whether it's Wild Bill's house or or you know or anybody else hopping that you grew in up my with. old man's truck, you know, yeah. back in because my dad used to smoke, you know what oh, I mean? Everybody did. Oh yeah, that's what I mean. My mom did just a dab, and grandma. I mean, yeah, like it means a whole different thing if you tell somebody your mom does a dab now. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But but I just I don't know. I was just thinking about it, and I just thought like. It's almost as if there's like a taboo against it, or not necessarily a well, taboo, but like like smoking cigarettes is just not a thing anymore. Well, some of it has become that when you look at about every cancer in the world you can have, the first thing that's listed there on potential causes is smoking. The funny like, thing is, when I was in California for work, yeah, that's one thing that I I immediately noticed was the amount of smokers. Like like standard regular old. Well, if I had to live in California, I'd smoke. But isn't California like the home too. of everything causes cancer? Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. that's the prop sixty five yeah. on everything. Yeah. Yes, well, but there was just a ton of people. You'd pass wonder, ten people in a block. That here were it all, is. Here it is. I, I caught it. It was going by earlier, and I I lost it. Now I caught well, it. I wonder if like Philip Morris mm-hmm. and all of the big cigarette. I wonder if they took a big kick in the teeth when the whole. Uh, Vapist movement come up come about. Like well, I wonder, I wonder where they're at in the world. They're You're buying, assuming that they didn't buy the vape companies because it's probably cheaper to produce those than it is to produce a quality. Uh, and then they move cigarette. on to other products. Like look at Zins right now. Zins There's a like lawsuit you. going on for those. Zins? For Zins. I just got something on my face space while I was on the crapper today. Okay. Saying, hey, are you addicted to Zin? Oh. Uh, call such and such law offices. James Sokolov. It wasn't Jimmy. Oh, it was somebody hammer? else. But I'm thinking they're probably the putting hammer. unhealthy amounts of nicotine or potentially what's that stuff that they get from China that kills people as soon as you touch fentanyl? it? Fentanyl? COVID? Maybe they're putting COVID? fentanyl in it. No, I I just made that up. That's not oh, sh- real information. <laughs> oh, it was a boy. cease and desist from Zen. <laughs> That's a good way. Fake news. Yeah. Fake. Heard it here first. Hey, you know yeah. what? But any any publicity is good publicity us, yeah. in the podcast. Get us over a I thousand just, I, I was just thinking about it, uh, you know, today that, like, I mean, I can sit here. I, I know for a fact I smoke cigarettes. You smoke cigarettes. I was, uh, when Have I was ever slowing down, I was a two-pack-a-day sm- guy. Like, I've take a drag or two or something yeah. like, or maybe bummed one off somebody when yeah. you were drunk. I never Same went with through me. a phase. Like, I've never I, bought I, a pack of cigarettes in I, my life. I did. 
So I bought, I bought a God's Plenty of Cigarettes. Yeah, so I bought... What was your brand? Oh, I was Mar- Marlboro Light. I was a Marlboro Light guy, too. Yeah, and then I start when I met the warden, She before she went to the dark side and joined the menthol club, she would smoke ultralights. Oh, so I they, did enjoy a menthol <clears throat> cigarette every I once smoked in a while. the piss out of menthols after the very first cigarette I ever smoked in my entire life. Was a menthol? Was a cool 100. Oh, okay. So this is a funny story. From old Wild Bill, because so, Grandpa Bill was a, he menthol was a guy? hardcore menthol Well, guy. because menthols weren't as bad for you. Uh, that's what they say. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, that, I you know, menthol's natural. I beg yeah. to differ. So our... Uh, I was a so Marble Red guy when I We started. took... Uh, we'd go on a canoe trip right before Easter break at Evansville when we were at the fraternity. And uh, buddy, our buddy Garrick, big fan of the show, he'll appreciate this. But that would be the time where we ingested cigarettes. So one year, the whole theme was, you want a cool? I got a cool. Probably smoked a carton of cools on the current river there in, uh, <laughs> uh, down in uh, uh, Acres Ferry, Missouri. But it was, it was like, hey, you want a cool? No, I'm good right now. Hey, you want a cool? So okay, thinking I'll about the amount that I smoked makes me want to vomit now. Like, I don't think I could smoke one cigarette now. And not like and would you be it. would you be eligible for that uh, chest X ray for insurance to cover? Did you smoke long enough for that? Uh, I smoke. I never smoked till I was eighteen. When but I was from a- when I was eighteen until I quit twice in there, but never really. But when Jenna told me she was pregnant Holy with William so seven years ago, so that had been eighteen to thirty three or so, wow. thirty two, thirty three, fifteen years. I was a two pack a day sober, but if I was drinking, I might smoke two or three packs while I was drinking. Jesus, yeah, it was a shit ton of cigarettes, lots of cigarettes. That's one right. You want to know something, guys? Go ahead. Talk about cools. You know, this is just on Google, and I'm not sure. I'm not. I'm really not going to source this. uh, (laughs) Source this. uh, It's never held us back from doing it. This article, but like, I'm pretty sure that I'm reading this right. That uh, the average pack of a cool. 100, a flip-top box, one pack of 20 cigarettes. cigarettes. 20 cigarettes. On the, on the national average now is $9.50. Oh, I believe it. Because I remember getting butt hurt when they got up to like three fifty a pack. I remember paying $7 a pack. The highest I ever remember buying a pack of cigarettes was still, it was 7 bucks down here at Blush's uh, for a pack of Marlboro Lights. And every now and then, if I was feeling fancy, like we were going to a party, and there was going to be like some get some camel Turkish royals. You damn right, yeah, hell Turkish yeah. Turkish golds. I would smoke Turkish Those gold. Those filters were so fancy. Oh, looking. dude, they were a different color than just the regular old Joe camels. Yeah. <laughs> hey, when you're bumming, when you get a now the warden and I were dating. We started in junior. We were juniors, and I used to smoke cigarettes before that. So when you knew that you were going to be around some 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 fancy chicks uh, and they seen that Turkish gold pack come out. Oh, I want one. And all that was is conversation. That's all it was. Now them camels always, when you pulled that foil off of the hard packs. Oh yeah. Like it was perforated to come out real easy. Oh yeah. Like on a Marlboro, you had to rip it out of there. And sometimes you get a flapper piece on top. Yeah. Just piss you off. But them, them Turkish Royals, you know, they just come right out. Now, were you a uh, hacker and then a flipper of one? Were you? I don't know why we did it, but hell yeah, that was your lucky one. Good you never luck. Took somebody's out. Now, Lunchbox, he's he's I, he might be starting to foam at the mouth a little bit. He was <laughs> Lunchbox like to he uh, was a, take a long he, drag. He was a big smoker too there for a long ass time, and then he's quit. He's I don't know. You've been it's years, fifteen years since he. quit. How long you been married? Uh, (laughs) how long you been dating longer than that there it was but uh no we were always a flipper too yeah hey did you ever get uh froggy and uh and just buy soft packs just for fun i was just i did like a soft pack like in hay baling season oh yeah you get that old soft pack out here (laughs) (laughs) do the old flipper thing that's right. Oh, God you dang. guys are talking about something that I have zero clue. <laughs> Grew up with it. Your parents didn't smoke. See, not, that's not thing. when I was alive. Yeah. And so my dad, I mean, we had a cool whip dish of, Full of marble miles. Of sand. Oh. No, no, no. Cool whip dish of sand in the garage on the workbench. You know, when the old man was out there, you know, messing around in the garage, and, you know, we got a rock floor. The goddamn floor in the garage is gravel. Yeah. You know what I mean? But yeah. hell's far, you do not. 
throw that cigarette butt on the ground. It goes straight in that ash that homemade ashtray yeah. that he robbed the sand out of our damn sandbox out there. <laughs> and I mean, every now and then you'd catch a butt that he'd have. I don't know, two or three, four drags left off that son bitch, and I'd go out there and just light them bastards up. Now that's smoke something the butts. I could. Ne- now that is another reason why I went through so many cigarettes. I probably didn't smoke as many as I lit, but I could never start a cigarette up again. Oh, that's the only In thing I could when, when I was, was like 12, 13, You know what I mean? Fair. I really didn't smoke cigarettes uh, when I was that. Oh, age. your parents already know. <laughs> yeah, they're no uh, dumbasses. <laughs> we. Uh, it was funny. It's funny you bring up cigarettes. I was at Casey's General Store the other day, mm-hmm. and some old boy got out of his truck, took a long, hard drag, mm-hmm. and he set that baby on the window seal to come back and Going get it on in. the way out. They no, I could all, do that. I'd save them sons of bitches. I had a... Back I, before they were uh, fire safe. Yeah. I don't think you can do it now. Yeah, hell no. I remember being pissed off when that happened, because you couldn't with set a, guy, a cigarette down. Lunchbox and I worked with a guy. <laughs> That he may or may not have had an undiagnosed uh, case of the alcoholism. Well, and, and, and was, a, a, was a smoker of himself and had his easy chair and a trash can underneath, like right here next to his easy chair, and had fall, fell asleep in the chair with a fi- with a non fire safe cigarette and burn his burn his house down. Like he was, bar- he's lucky to get out. I bet. Yeah. I bet if we talked to uh, Papa Frank. From his old firefighting days, about how many house fires back in the day were? Oh yeah, you know a lot of them. He said were yeah. caused by the old fuse fuse box getting the pennies in there and oh, people. Yeah. But I bet there would yeah. be uh, My know, gr- a lot of cigarettes. There. You know that's something else you don't see anymore. Is you go get a used car, you'd always check how many cigarette burns were in the. Grandpa Bill, yeah, I was <laughs> God. I got so many cigarette <laughs> stories, boys. I come from a long line of smokers. Me yeah. too. Amen, brother. Amen. That was just but Grandpa on the Bill's name. Grandpa Bill's uh, recliner downstairs in the in the sitting room downstairs in the TV room. That son of a bitch was just littered with cherry burns <laughs> all over the arms, like it was almost scratchy. You know, to put your yeah. arms on the damn Jeez. chair. I don't yeah. know. Anyway, it's, I'll just think about cigarettes. Well, it's it's interesting, but I think that. Uh, you know what has really changed is there was a the romanticism about I don't know if that's how you say it but oh yeah you know the boys smoking Lucky Strike it was a fancy thing man. it was you, you know look everybody back, did. go back in the back in the now day. did you ever roll your own Grandpa Bill did no I never did no when I was at college I got pretty broke so I rolled my own and I'd had a little bag that like a Ziploc I got stopped by the this is probably where I started with my little disdain for uh, authority. But those cadets at VU were always just pretty sure they were the best thing since, like, Real. Tracy Dick out there. Real. Tracy Dick. And here I am rolling a, like, sitting it was on Dick campus. Tracy. You knew that. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Dick Tracy. Tracy Dick. Yeah, gumshoe. You'll never catch me alive, flat foot. Yeah, see? And I'd be rolling a cigarette, yeah. sitting in the bench right outside the dorm door. And they'd be like, what do you got there? Put it down. I'm like, Really? I got go, a, a whole bag of weed right here. I'm just <laughs> oh, here rolling I am up at m- noon. <laughs> middle of campus. A <laughs> With whole my backpack. Bag <laughs> hey, you remember Hoagie? Yeah, you do. There was an old man that lived around here between here and Zor, and he rode a scooter all the time. He had a moped. Big, burly bastard. I mean, it'd be colder than a well digger's asshole, and he's riding that thing in there to Jenny's store, and he'd buy a half pound of bologna and a loaf of bread. And he'd sit out on the front porch of that store <clears throat> and eat a sandwich. And then he'd he'd had a big old bag and a ro- and he'd sit there and roll cigarettes. You want one? No, I'm good. Thanks, Hoagie. You know what I mean? And he'd sit there and smoke cigarettes on that bench. Man, I got so many stories around well, cigarettes. I, thought, I felt there for a while, I just, even after college, I smoked like, or I just rolled my own because I felt like the filter is what was killing you, all the fiberglass and chemicals in it. Oh, okay. So oh, you well, get that American spirit, you it's know. It's the chemicals in the uh, yeah. tobacco. Yeah. Well, well I mean, you could say that about the chemicals in anything. Huh? Well, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Uh, uh, Pop Frank used to work. There was a place called Grower Service in Huntingburg. Yeah, and they did chemicals. And he worked there for a while. Uh, and he said one year they had such a blight with tobacco mm-hmm. that they brought in some shit from. Uh, it wasn't authorized for use in the United States for them to get this blight. And he said that stuff was brutal. I bet. Mm-hmm. Like it would. Uh, it would, you know, take the pain Feel off the Feel the pain walls. off the Chrysler. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty bad. But, no, that our, uh, do you think, like, those, uh, 
Nat, is they're not natural spirit. Native, the ones that are American, American spirits. spirits. American spirits. I mean, do you think they're any safer than what a other cigarette is? Thought it enough that I just bought them, and I, well, I bought the rolling version of it of the American spirits. Yeah. So you bought the loose leaf tobacco. Yeah. yeah. Well, you're gonna get into a pipe, aren't you? Uh, you know, once I get past, I feel like I'm, I'm going to be 40 this year. I'm probably about piping age. I might start I bet that. You here. are. <laughs> God damn. Hmm. <I'm> damn. <laughs> yeah, you got to be 21 to buy a cigarette now. That's, That's a big wild. change. That's mm. Anyway, so I don't know. Just think about cigarettes. What you got? <laughs> Just thinking about hey, youth golf tournament cigarettes. It all <laughs> flows together. 